Anyone who says to me that if you're not doing anything wrong, you have nothing to hide, I always ask, then why do you put blinds or curtains on your front room windows? Welcome to Skywatch TV, a special broadcast today. Joining us by telephone is the founder of Freedom Watch, uh, Larry Clayman. Larry, thank you for joining us today. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you for inviting me. On March 19th, you had a column that ran at uh, Newsmax.com, uh, and you told the story of a whistleblower, government whistleblower by the name of Dennis Montgomery, who you tried to bring to the attention of the chairman of the House uh, Intelligence Committee, uh, Devin Nunez. Uh, who is Dennis Montgomery, and what does he know that is so important? Dennis Montgomery, my client, is a former NSA CIA contractor, National Security Agency, Central Intelligence Agency. He saw illegalities at those intelligence agencies and left with 47 hard drives, over 600 million pages of information showing that these intelligence agencies were surveilling prominent businessmen like Donald Trump, 156 judges, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, John Roberts, other justices, and even me. Uh, anybody who was anybody who possibly might be subject to coercion and blackmail by the government was surveyed. And he came forward, and I got him immunity with the Federal Bureau of Investigation with the help of a federal judge, Royce Lambert, and he came forward with those uh, classified documents. I've never seen them. They are in the hands of the FBI. We were working at the highest level with FBI Director James Comey through his general counsel, James Baker, and Special Agents Walter Giardina and Special Agent William Barnett. The assistant attorney on the case in the District of Columbia was Deborah Curtis, who assisted with the uh, immunity agreements. Uh, it's been two years. Nothing has happened. And, of course, there are all these questions about whether or not President Trump was, quote, wiretapped. I take that in the broadest sense. And Montgomery, the information he provided, can confirm that and can confirm that it happened even before the president became the president, as well as other people, because it's very dangerous when judges and Supreme Court justices are being surveyed as well. You have to ask yourself the question, is the reason that Chief Justice John Roberts flipped on Obamacare at the 12th hour and voted with the leftist judges, justices, because he might have feared that these agencies had something about him that was embarrassing or could destroy his career? I don't know that, but that's a possibility, and that's the risk here. And hmm. one of the things that I've said is that, you know, back in 1776, if King George III had had these powers, our founding fathers' plans would have been revealed. They never would have gotten to Philadelphia. Hmm. They would have been arrested and executed before they got there to sign the Declaration of Independence. That's what's at issue here. So we've asked Chairman Nunes to bring Montgomery forward, but here's the issue, and, and I'm supportive of Chairman Nunes. I believe this intelligence in, in, agency's uh, committees may have known about this. And along with the FBI, they may be covering all of this up because they're culpable as well. Hmm. And therefore, the American people need to rise up and demand that Nunes bring in Montgomery in a secure room, as he testified to the FBI. Uh, and they can call 202-224-3121 and ask for Chairman Nunes of the House Intel Committee and ask for uh, Senator Richard Burr of North Carolina of the Senate Intel community, because I think that these intelligence oversight committees don't really want to face this issue because they've known about this type of behavior uh, and have not done anything about it. In fact, covered it up. And they're fearful themselves, I think, that these agencies have stuff on them. They're politicians. Suppose they reveal, you know, mistresses. I'm not saying Nunes or Burr has a mistress, mistress or anything or, or other things about their life. This entire city is fearful of these intelligence agencies, so the American people need to rise up and demand uh, that something be done. So the reason that uh, the first nominee for National Security Advisor, General Michael Flynn, uh, that, that his name was known and that uh, it, was, it was disclosed, leaked to the press, is because somebody somewhere, one of these intelligence agencies, did in fact intercept phone conversations with General Flynn and then accidentally, on purpose, let that be known. Um, to, to what end? Well, nothing happens in Washington accidentally. <laughs> nothing happens here accidentally. Okay. It was intentional, and there's a really good article uh, out by Circa News, John Solomon and Sarah Carter, who, uh, you know, through their sources, uncovered that this was an intentional act by the Obama administration, probably Susan Rice, former U.N. ambassador who lied several times about Benghazi, 
she and right. others were behind this. Uh, they are attempting to destroy not just Michael Flynn, but the entire Trump presidency. And the president's off in Polynesia right now, I guess wearing a grass skirt or something hmm. and doing the hula. But um, he's been behind. This is Bo Obama. He's been behind this. He's running an alternative government uh, out of his Calorama mansion. Uh, he's not Batman for sure. No, the one that uh, Valerie Jarrett just moved he's into. More like, he's right? more like the Joker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's more like the Joker, unfortunately. So how are the revelations that Dennis Montgomery brought to you different from what uh, Edward Snowden made public a couple of years ago? Well, they confirm what Snowden said, but uh, they are more targeted in terms of these um, violations of surveillance of various uh, prominent people like President Trump. So on top of the mass surveillance of hundreds of millions of Americans, there was targeted surveillance with regard to prominent Americans like the, the president, particularly when he was a businessman. And like I said, I've never seen the documentation because mm -hmm. they can't. Uh, but it's in the hands of the FBI. And you have to ask yourself the question, did Comey uh, agree to try to seek immunity for Montgomery to take this stuff off the market so no one would ever find out about it? It's been uh, two years. Mm -hmm. And Comey testified in front of the House Intel Committee a week and a half ago, and no mention of this. Uh, and it would appear that there's a cover-up underway, and that's why the American people need to demand uh, an adequate and full investigation here. Hmm. So if this information isn't being collected by the NSA, the CIA, the FBI, and whatever other letter agencies out there uh, are, are engaging in this warrantless wiretapping, um, if it isn't to protect Americans from you know, threats uh, from without and within, what is the purpose hmm. of all of this intelligence gathering? Well, you raise a really good point. First of all, people should go to our website, freedomwatchusa.org, freedomwatchusa.org. Please support us. We're small. We need your financial support. That's a little pitch there, but it's true because we need to ramp up. But mm -hmm. I, w I filed lawsuits on my behalf and on behalf of some clients uh, three years ago. We won at the preliminary stage. The judge found, Judge Richard Leon, that this conduct was unconstitutional. And the so-called government represented by the Obama Justice Department, and I might add the same Obama lawyers are still in charge of this section, the federal program branch. They need to be cleaned out hmm. by the Trump Justice Department. Uh, they argued that we need this because we use it to catch terrorists. Well, the judge said, show me one example that you've used this, this illegal surveillance to catch terrorists. They said, well, we can't. It's classified. Judge then said, well, do it in chambers to me. I have a security clearance. They couldn't do that either. And the judge noted in his opinions, you can see them at freedomwatchusa.org, that the government hasn't caught one terrorist with this, not one. So there, the only logical conclusion is being used for other nefarious purposes. Right. And that's the risk here. Hmm. In other words, the uh, intelligence agencies appear to be using this to keep tabs on the people who control their funding in order to get them to do what the intelligence community wants them to do. Well, among other things, I mean, just two years ago, ironically, the leftist senator from California, Dianne Feinstein, Democrat, who was head of the House Intelligence Committee, her staff's email accounts were hacked by former CIA director John Brennan hmm. and the CIA. They hacked their own person, and Brennan lied to Congress when they asked him whether he was engaging this, in this illegal surveillance against them. He lied, just like John, just like uh, Clapper did. Um, who lied when asked by Senator Wyden, a Democrat, uh, whether there was this mass surveillance. He lied under oath. Now, none, neither of these people have been prosecuted for perjury because, frankly, powers to be here in Washington are too afraid to go against them because they could turn their intelligence capabilities on them. And, and one last thing, I have a friend uh, who's a very famous Hollywood writer named David Marconi. He wrote uh, the movie Enemy of the State. Oh, yes. Dean Hackman was the star. Right. And... Marconi was a visionary. He saw this, you know, happening. And uh, I urge people to go out and watch that movie because yeah. it's much worse than even what David thought was going to happen at that time. Hmm. It's, it's just, it's, it's Orwellian. That's what the judge called it, Orwellian, big brother. Uh, we live in a police state. He made reference to that. And that's the risk here. It goes far beyond General Flynn, who was, his life was destroyed. It goes beyond President Trump. These people are more powerful than the president of the United States. They're, in effect, an alternative government. And who was the puppeteer? President Obama and his administration, at least in terms of what happened to Flynn and, and the Trump team. Hmm. And, uh, you know, it needs to be uh, 
dealt with. Yeah. Uh, Larry Clayman is the founder of Freedom Watch. One final question, Larry. Again, what can we average citizens do? Well, first of all, support Freedom Watch at freedomwatchusa.org. We're bringing hard-hitting cases. I mean, my former group, Judicial Watch, which I founded, brings mostly FOIA cases, okay? They get documents, okay? That's, that's good. But somebody needs to go into court to, and find a judge like Leon to get this job done because the judiciary is supposed to protect us against the tyranny of the other two branches of government, and Leon is a good judge. So please support us on that. And please call... Uh, Senator Richard Burr of North Carolina, head of the Senate Intel Committee, and Chairman De- Devin Nunes, head of the House Intel Committee, and demand that they do their job and to get into this because they want to avoid it. They've known about this, but you know they're part of the Washington establishment. So raise heck with them hmm. in a peaceful and uh, legal way, and let's make them do their job. Hmm. Larry Clayman, the founder of Freedom Watch. The website is freedomwatchusa.org. Thank you very much for your time today, Larry. We appreciate it. Thank you. God bless. Mm. Final thoughts right after this on Skywatch TV. Right now, when you purchase the new book by Carl Gallup's When the Lion Roars from the Skywatch TV store, you'll also receive the award-winning documentary movie Inhuman, featuring the internationally acclaimed Skywatch television research team. Inhuman travels the globe and speaks with world authorities on the subject of transhumanism and unveils for the first time how breakthrough advances in science are moving humanity to a near future dominated by a new species of unrecognizably superior humans. You'll also receive the over five hour full length audio series, The Coming Technocalypse, featuring Skywatch TV's Josh Peck and radio legends Doug and Joe Hagman as they expose the role of future technologies in biblical prophecy. All three items sold separately hold a retail value of $60. Yours now for only $29.99 plus shipping and handling at skywatchtvstore.com. As Larry said, this is something that is uh, bigger than just President Donald Trump or the career of Lieutenant General Michael Flynn. This is something that affects all of us as Americans. Our Fourth Amendment protections under the Constitution essentially do not exist anymore. And this is not something that began with the Obama administration. This began, well, even before George W. Bush, but it really ramped up, of course, after September 11th of 2001. There are people with whom I've raised this issue over the years who will say, If you're not doing anything wrong, you don't have anything to worry about. But as I said at the opening of the program, then why do you have blinds on your front room window? We are guaranteed a certain amount of privacy from government snooping in the Constitution. At least that's how the framers saw it. What the United States government is doing to American citizens today is exactly what our ancestors fought a war about in the 1770s and 1780s. And yet we've rolled over and we accept it because it's supposed to keep us safe. We'll have more to say about this in the uh, weeks and months ahead, and especially the aspect of this uh, alternative government, this shadow government that's being run out of uh, Barack Obama's home in Washington, D.C. As we told you last week, he's the first U.S. president in many, many years who has not left Washington, D.C. after his term in office. He's taking an active role in trying to hamstring the Trump administration, and this is something that uh, past presidents have rarely done, if ever. It's not a good trend. It is not a good precedent that's being set because what it is leading to is increasingly turbulent transfers of power in the United States. If you thought what happened on Inauguration Day 2017 was bad, just wait. Because as time goes on and this becomes more the norm, things will only get worse. This weekend is the Hear the Watchman conference in Dallas. And uh, we hope that uh, if you're not going to be there, you'll be able to take part via the live video stream. As we've uh, explained, it's essentially a uh, password to a website when you register that will allow you to watch the presentations in real time and have access to the archived presentations for up to 30 days after the conference. The cost is $49, but you can save 5% on the registration now by using the promo code Gilbert5. That's Gilbert and the numeral 5. You do that at the website hearthewatchmen.com. That's all one word, hearthewatchmen.com. Tomorrow, get ready for science, as my best friend and our science advisor, my wife, 
Sharon Gilbert joins us for Sci Friday. Until then, thanks for watching as we keep watch. I'm Derek Gilbert, and this is Skywatch TV. Senator Richard Burr of North Carolina of the Senate Intel community, because I think that these intelligence oversight committees don't really want to face this issue because they've known about this type of behavior uh, and have not done anything about it, if not covered it up. And they're fearful themselves, I think, that these agencies have stuff on them. They're politicians. Suppose they reveal, you know, mistresses. I'm not saying Nunes or Burr has a mistress, mistress or anything or, or other things about their life. This entire city is fearful of these intelligence agencies. So the American people need to rise up and demand uh, that something be done. So the reason that uh, the first nominee for National Security Advisor, General Michael Flynn, uh, that, that his name was known and that uh, it, was, it was disclosed, leaked to the press, is because somebody somewhere, one of these intelligence agencies, did in fact intercept phone conversations with General Flynn and then accidentally... Through his general counsel... James Baker, and Special Agents Walter Giardina, and Special Agent William Barnett. The assistant attorney on the case in the District of Columbia was Deborah Curtis, who assisted with the uh, immunity agreements. Uh, it's been two years. Nothing has happened. And, of course, there are all these questions about whether or not President Trump was, quote, wiretapped. I take that in the broadest sense. And Montgomery, the information he provided, can confirm that and can confirm that it happened even before the president became the president, as well as other people, because it's very dangerous when judges and Supreme Court justices are being surveyed as well. You have to ask yourself the question, is the reason that Chief Justice John Roberts flipped on Obamacare at the 12th hour and voted with the leftist judges, justices, because he might have feared that these agencies had something about him that was embarrassing or could destroy his career? I don't know that, but that's a possibility, and that's the risk here. And mm. one of the things that I've said is that, you know, back in 1776, if King George III had had these powers, our founding fathers' plans would have been revealed. They never would have gotten to Philadelphia. Mm. They would have been arrested and executed before they got there to sign the Declaration of Independence. That's what's at issue here. So we've asked Chairman Nunes to bring Montgomery forward, but here's the issue, and, and I'm supportive of Chairman Nunes. I believe this intelligence in, in, agency's uh, committees may have known about this. And along with the FBI, they may be covering all of this up because they're culpable as well. Hmm. And therefore, the American people need to rise up and demand that Nunes bring in Montgomery in a secure room, as he testified to the FBI. Uh, and they can call 202-224-3121 and ask for Chairman Nunes of the House Intel Committee and ask for Anyone who says to me that if you're not doing anything wrong, you have nothing to hide, I always ask, then why do you put blinds or curtains on your front room window? Welcome to Skywatch TV, a special broadcast today. Joining us by telephone is the founder of Freedom Watch, uh, Larry Clayman. Larry, thank you for joining us today. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you for inviting me. On March 19th, you had a column that ran at uh, Newsmax.com, uh, and you told the story of a whistleblower, government whistleblower by the name of Dennis Montgomery, who you tried to bring to the attention of the chairman of the House uh, Intelligence Committee, uh, Devin Nunez. Uh, who is Dennis Montgomery and what does he know that is so important? Dennis Montgomery, my client, is a former NSA CIA contractor, National Security Agency, Central Intelligence Agency. He saw illegalities at those intelligence agencies and left with 47 hard drives, over 600 million pages of information showing that these intelligence agencies were surveilling prominent businessmen like Donald Trump, 156 judges, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, John Roberts, other justices, and even me. Uh, anybody who was anybody who possibly might be subject to coercion and blackmail by the government was surveyed. And he came... Board, 
and I got him immunity with the Federal Bureau of Investigation with the help of a federal judge, Royce Lambert, and he came forward with those uh, classified documents. I've never seen them. They are in the hands of the FBI. We were working at the highest level with FBI Director James Comey, 